Hello YouTubers. I am here to show you how um, I am going to make what is called a double flat bead. And the beads basically will look like this. And they have two holes going through. And you can make bracelets and also necklaces. I saw this particular craft in a paper bead book that I got at the library and it was pretty simple. Basically you need uh, to cut 12 inch by 1 inch strips and what I'm doing is I'm going to use some free flyer paper, you know, the sale paper that you get from the markets. Um, I don't try to throw away a lot of things, especially paper these days. I'm on a paper exploration in terms of what to make out of uh, paper, especially beads. Um, so I said, you know, let me go ahead and use the paper that I have. So I cut 12 inch strips. Uh, the width is one inch. And then the book instructions say to cut one inch by three quarter inch strips. What I'm going to do is make the strips a little longer because I find that the beads that I have, they're not as thick around the, the hole as I would like them to be. So I'm going to try this out and see if it works. So again, what you'll need for this project is paper. Um, you can do also magazine strips, uh, magazine strips, uh, throwaway paper, flyer paper, letter paper. Um, there's no limit to what you could use. Um, ruler to measure out your your measurements. Glue that you'll need to um, secure the the ends and. Uh, of course toothpicks. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, with two toothpicks you'll start out and the first toothpick what you're going to do is like you're doing paper beads uh, kind of like a, a cylinder bead you're going to roll this uh, particular paper fully on the toothpick so you wrap it around, you wrap it around, you keep going. Okay. Once you get almost to the end, you're going to put some glue. Use my fingers here. Because uh, you don't need very much. And then you secure it. So once you have that done, and this is going to be the thickness that I'm looking for. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and put this aside. Okay. I'm sure yours is going to be a little neater. I'm just showing you what it will look like. Okay. So you put that aside with the toothpick remaining in the bead. Okay. Then you're going to take your long strip of newspaper. Now what you're going to do is I'm using two strips because the, the uh, flyer paper was folded so I said let me go ahead and use the thickness. So what you're going to do is on the end of one piece okay, you're going to just put some glue because you're going to That's not correct. What you're going to do, let me put that one aside. See, you always kind of catch yourself a little bit. So you're going to go about one inch up, then you're going to start gluing because if you glue at the edge, your toothpick is going to stick to the paper. And the idea is to have your toothpick um, slide out of the, the bead once you're done. So the reason why I say that, this is what you're going to do. You're going to then like you did before, roll the toothpick and so the bead 
the paper actually will start to roll on the toothpick. And so as you go along, depending on how thick you want this roll to be, you want it to kind of be the same thickness as your starter bead. So you keep rolling. That's the reason why I wanted to use two strips because I wanted it to see if I could do it a little thicker. Okay, so you that's about right. So then you want to add more glue and what you'll end up doing is placing your first toothpick with the the first part of the bead kind of maybe about half an inch from the second bead and then as you go you want to make sure you have enough glue on this side because here comes the fun part you're going to fold over the paper and the instructions say to roll the bead over so that you'll feel it tighten around the toothpick. So once you do that, you can then start to roll, keep rolling your newspaper or your whatever paper you're using onto The, the toothpick rolling around and you're going to keep going now what I'm discovering is I did not glue the two sheets together so it's not feeling as snug as I want it to be so what you will do and what I will do uh, later is secure my two papers down so that it feels like one piece of paper. So as you go along you're pressing down in between the toothpicks and with your fingers going along continue to glue the paper and press down and when you get to the edge you'll either remove a little bit of the paper or it'll fold neatly on the back side. So you keep rolling, pressing, rolling, and pressing. Okay, so as you can see, you'll see that the paper is forming a flat bead. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue the piece, the end piece together so that I'll have a snug fit. Then you roll and you press. Okay, so there's your bead. It's called, again, a double flat bead and you let that dry, set it aside and let it dry. You can trim your ends off a little bit. A pair of scissors. Okay, so that gives you a kind of a clean finish. Put that aside and let it dry. And here's what I have for my first tries. And I cut out a nice page on a magazine and had um, kind of the face of Buddha and uh, kind of I like the colors okay so what I did also with some of them I cut in between to make them a little smaller in size not all of them but some of them and uh, so I'm going to add to these uh, maybe solid colors and what I'll end up doing is putting some seed beads in between uh, different colors and, and make a necklace and so there you go and all you have to do is go back and brush your 
clear gloss varnish on it and uh, let it dry and you'll have a necklace.